My full name is Jane Cloud Kwigaba. And where are you from? I'm from Congo, through in Uganda. Why did you come to America? I come in America because the is the one who gives me uh, the assistance or the new life for Americans. That always good. His story is like so many, betrayed by his country, leaders, government, life, and left without a home. There was war, there was insecurity. Did they kick you out of your home? Yep. And what happened when you were kicked out of your home? Some there died. They were killed? Yeah. But Jean-Claude Quingaba is one of the lucky ones. He, his wife, and six kids have been in America 14 days. Jean-Claude is 35, my age, and has been living with his family in African camps for three years. He's a refugee, like so many others. 24 people are displaced from their homes every minute of every day, and there are over 60 million refugees in the world, according to the United Nations. Jean-Claude and his family are among 85,000 who will enter America this year. There are passionate arguments about the refugee program in America, and there are some security and safety concerns that should be considered. But for this story, we're focusing on the majority of refugees who come to America for a new life. Around 300 end up in Twin Falls every year. They come looking for freedom and opportunity. All they're thinking about when they're coming here is how can I survive? Zeze Raswawa runs the College of Southern Idaho Refugee Resettlement Program. The nonprofit has been in Twin Falls 30 years, working with the State Department and accepting refugees from Sudan, Iran, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere. We want to help them become self-sufficient in a very short period of time, and then we also help them become fully integrated in the community. When refugees first arrive, they're greeted at the airport. They're then taken to government paid for housing and shown how things operate. They immediately begin the process of learning how to live in America. Every day they go to class and learn English, life skills, and how to work. You will need that when you go to get a job. We are able to place refugees on average two months. Uh, an employable refugee is already working. If you were to take me from Idaho and drop me in Turkey next week. It, it's gotta be completely foreign to a lot of these people to come to Twin Falls, Idaho. You need to understand that um, coming here is the last, their last hope. No one from that country has actually offered a solution or help. And now you have America that is, is giving them the di dignity that they've lost for so many years. It, America is giving them hope. Hope and dignity, things Jean-Claude has craved for so long. This is my country too. I can call my home. You call America your home now? Yeah. Does it feel like home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling good. What, where do you, what do you do today now? Now, do you go home right now? Yeah. Do you walk home? Yeah, I'm walking because I'm neighbor. From here to my home is like uh, 15 minutes only. Can we go to your house? No problem. Do you want a ride? Do you want us to drive you? No problem. Is that okay? Yeah. For one of the few times in his life, Jean-Claude rides in a car. He's now one of thousands of refugees who have been on these Twin Falls streets. And up until this year, few concerns were ever raised about the CSI program. Truthfully, it's just sort of been there. It hasn't had a lot of attention uh, until the last year or so we started to hear um, some vocal opponents of the program tying it specifically to the president's initiative with Syrian refugees. We don't have any Syrian refugees. We've not received any Syrian refugees. The challenge has been Syrian has become synonymous with Islamic, has become synonymous with terrorist. And that is the misconception. A misconception Zeze deals with and is often asked about. A lot of people have raised security concerns about the refugees coming into America. Are those concerns valid? The vetting process of refugees, it's actually the toughest. There's so many 
government agencies that are involved in the vetting process, not one or two. Homeland Security is involved in the vetting process. The FBI is involved, the Department of State is involved, many other law enforcement agencies are involved in vetting the refugees. Zeze says a terrorist would have a much easier time entering America to do business, go to school, or just to visit, rather than applying through the refugee program. What's your name? It's that program that is saving Jean-Claude and his I'm family. Me. This is where they live, this is a, home. a humble four-bedroom home. But even though there's eight people living here, they're only using two of the rooms for sleeping. In the camp, we build a small house. And when the small house is like a two rooms, when you have the two rooms, how you can do? The some that are sleeping there, the some that are sleeping there. So in the, in the refugee camp, you guys were all together. Yeah. Now here, they all want to be together. Yeah. Jean-Claude's wife watches the kids while he goes to class. When he returns, she heads to the CSI building and learns English and other skills. Their oldest kids are just starting school, and even though this family moved to America with no toys, electronics, nothing but a few clothes, <laughs> they are so happy. They didn't enjoy like this. They didn't get to play like this? No. How? Happy. While at the Queen Gaba's home, the children try popsicles for the first time. Do you know how to open it? They're not quite open. sure how to eat them, but they don't mind. Open. And as we're getting ready to leave, Jean-Claude invites me and my family back to his home another time for dinner. Come with your family, no problem. This man likely never believed he would have to flee the country where he was born and raised. He says he's thankful for America, Idahoans, the refugee program, and freedoms he now enjoys in the land of the free and home of the brave. You brought very little. Yeah. But it was worth it to come. Yeah. You like it here. Yeah, so much.